Let me guess, your mama white. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl Dumebilia. if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back so before we proceed with the video please i just want to state that this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not stretch out the person or the people that i talk about in this video do not send them any kind of hate threats violence hate speech this channel does not support any of that so today's video is about this biracial woman that was getting dragged dragged to filth on tiktok for coming out to talk about the black national anthem now see you guys i'm even happy that there's a black national anthem i'm ashamed to say this but because i'm learning a part of me is not ashamed i'm learning more about the african-american people and the culture and all of that so I recently found out about the Black National Anthem when the Super Bowl happened and Cheryl Lee Ralph just gave that beautiful performance. I saw the Black excellence, the glory of it all, the way she sang it with so much pride with the Black backup singers putting on white and with her It was so powerful. It was so beautiful. I was grinning from ear to ear watching it like you guys. <laughs> So obviously, you know, that performance actually ticked a lot of people off. They didn't like the fact that black people came to perform what they call a black national anthem, which I found out that people just call it that because black people sing it a lot in black gatherings, black schools, black community. Like it's just a song that represents a lot for black people that so much so that it was dubbed the black national anthem and you guys i'm here for it okay but anyway before i just go on blabbing let me play the video made by this biracial woman i'm an american i don't need a black national anthem just like white people don't need a white national anthem just like we don't need black drinking fountains and white drinking fountains i'm just an american and the national anthem the real one belongs to all of us all of us americans and skin color doesn't matter so she made that video obviously you know not happy with the fact that there's a black national anthem and in my mind i'm like sis are you just finding out that there's a black national anthem or are you just saying this because a lot of the are complaining about the fact that 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 song was performed at the super bowl is she saying it just to echo what the palm color people are saying or she said it because she's just finding out that there's a black national anthem maybe she's mad that she didn't know about it before now i don't know or is she just doing it to spark up conversation or for cloud? Like, what is her reason for coming out to say that at this point in time? I wonder. Anyway, so let me play people's responses because people definitely had a mouthful to say to her. I'm an American. I don't need a black national anthem. And it's a good goddamn thing that the qualifications to participate in this conversation wasn't being American. It's for coloreds. And I can already tell that you wasn't raised by two of us, if you know what I mean. Half of Black History Month done came and went. Stay in your lane, all right? Not too much. Be f for real. I would like to give an example of what it looks like when Black American history is not accurately taught in schools. I'm an American. I don't need a Black national anthem. Just like so this person is biracial and... Um, I believe from what I've seen so far, she has revealed that she does not have a black mama. And apparently there's this whole discussion about biracial people who are black and white and the difference between having a black mama and a white mama and it shows. Like I really think there should be a, a case study on that whole phenomenon. But I digress, I wanna talk about what she's saying. Just because you refuse to acknowledge your blackness and your black history and there's a strong possibility that you are strongly unaware of your black history doesn't mean the rest of us black people who are either proud of our blackness for being biracial or 100% black and appreciate our blackness doesn't mean it doesn't mean that we do not appreciate our blackly black things. And I want you to also think about this idea of you being just an American. 
See, the difference is you can pass as being just an American. Most black people cannot. And we can tell that by the police interactions as well. The school interactions, the home loans interactions, the access to uh, equal pay. We, we, can, we can tell these things. What you said is not profound. What you said is ignorant. Because our country literally separates us according to race. Six categories of race according to the U.S. Census. It's in our job applications, in our home loan applications, in our um, education applications, in our medical forms. It is in everything that we do. Race plays a factor into everything that we do. And when you don't acknowledge that, it doesn't make you profound. It gives you willful obtuseness. And that may not be a word, but it is today. What you have also done is say some real anti-black stuff and pander to non-black people, thinking that you're profound. Because it's popular to crap on black people in the United States of America. And when you actually get to learning about black American history and you become enlightened, you'll realize just how ignorant you were with that statement. So this content creator says that she doesn't need a black national anthem, just like white people don't need a, black, a white national anthem. I can appreciate your sentiment except for one very simple fact. Francis Scott Key, the writer of the National Anthem of the Star Spangled Banner as we know it here in America, was a slave owner, a very wealthy lawyer, slave owner at the time that he wrote it. But that's not a reason not for, for us not to embrace his lyrics or his song. The reason for us as African Americans not to embrace it is found in the third verse of this poem turned Star Spangled Banner turned anthem for this country. And I quote, and where is that band who so vauntingly swore that the havoc of war and the battle's confusion, a home and a country should leave us no more. Their blood has washed out their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. The star spangled banner in triumph doth wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. This verse is literally about capturing and killing people who just simply wanted to run for their freedom. Yes, I'm an American. I was born here. But don't tell me that this song is for me. When my answers, ancestors died because of the very lyrics of this poem from a known race slave owner who wrote these words. I can't embrace that. I can't embrace that idea. I don't hate the Star Spangled Banner, but don't tell me I don't need something that speaks to my heritage, that speaks to who I am as an African American. So you can have the Star Spangled Banner, but as for me, I'm gonna lift every voice and sing. I'm an American. I don't need a black national anthem. I hope she knows that no one created that song for it to be the black national anthem. People call it that because it's a, like a super special song that we've been singing for a few decades, if not longer. Yeah. She needs to be fed to lions. Fed to the lions. I'm an American. I don't need a black national anthem. Just like what Francis Scott Key wrote this song on his own boat, boat with a good piece of paper and a good pen. He was part of a lyricist group and this particular poem was meant to be sung and it was set to a slightly more sophisticated pub tune. Uh, it was not adopted as the US national anthem until 1931 because it had lyrics in there that extolled slavery because he believed he was superior to anyone of color and he believed in slavery so that song really wasn't written for you it really wasn't written for me though to be honest i think african americans are the most american of us all next to the indigenous because as someone whose ancestors were brought here by force and stripped away of everything you created a culture of you and that is worth singing about i'm an american I don't need a black national anthem, just like what? 
let's be for real you're not upset that there's a black national anthem you're upset that you're just now learning about it because most of us been knew that there was one since we were kids we sang this at like elementary school graduations and things like that but probably because they damn near the the melanin out your line and you over there looking like that i'd be a little upset too but capping for the mayo minions saying we don't need one stop it go in the house i'm an american i don't need a black national anthem just like i'm an american and i don't need a black national anthem baby girl that's exactly how you look saying what you just said just now I'm actually grateful for the education that I had because when I was in elementary school, we sang that song. In church, we sang that song. And it kills me to see other black people pretending that you have no idea why people are singing that song. The Star Spangled Banner talks about freedom. At the time that was written, black people were slaves. When Weldon wrote that song, Lift Every Voice and Sing, that um, was at an all-time high. White people used to lynch black people and then take pictures next to it as if that's their trophy. But you're still pretending you have no idea why that song was written. Till this day, that song still applied to black people in this country. So the people that you're doing the tip drill for, they're never going to pick you. Try again. You guys, they came for her. I felt bad listening to some of those to some of those stitches, to some of those replies. And you know, she actually was coming out to defend herself. She made several replies to different comments that were dropped on that video. Let me play some of her replies. I hope, I hope this is the last video I make in regards to this whole national anthem outrage. I think what's really frustrating me about the comments is when black people spew absolute hatred, vile, disgusting, racist comments towards me because they think because of their skin color, that they are absolved from the sin of race. You think that because you're black, you think that gives you an excuse to be a bad person. You think that it makes you unable to be racist. To say that only white people can be racist is racist in itself. Racism is a bad, evil character trait that can happen to anyone. And for all you who are saying, your mom's white, huh? And did they pick you? Did they pick you yet? Um, I do all of this for an audience of one, and that is God. I don't care what anyone thinks. And also, just because you're black doesn't mean that you have the right opinion. And also, just because you're black doesn't mean that your life is harder than everybody else's. And I'm not ashamed that my mom is white. I'm not ashamed of being biracial. And if it's a problem to you, it's because you're a racist. Oh, and also, just because my mom is white doesn't mean that I can't have an opinion. I can have an opinion on anything. And if you want to make up these stupid rules of like, you can't say that because you're not totally black or whatever, says who? Seriously, says who? And also for the black people saying that they don't claim me, well, black people aren't a monolith. We don't all have the same mind. So no, I don't want to be friends with you and I'm not associated with you. But also just know that not every black person agrees with you. Yeah, so anyways, I just want to put that behind. I just want you guys to know I'm not ashamed of being biracial. No one should be ashamed of their race, no matter if you're white, black, Asian, whatever. Being black does not mean that you can't be wrong and doesn't mean that anybody owes you anything also i don't know i don't know anybody an apology for what i said there and i didn't say anything disrespectful i have not disrespected anybody but a lot of you have disrespected me and white people and you're in the wrong for doing that okay i have many things to address but first let's start with a comment that the third verse is raised of the national anthem and it says, nor the airling or the slave could escape the grave. That means that no one can escape death. Also, the word slave is not synonymous with black. Slavery has existed throughout the entire world, throughout the whole history of the world. People of all ethnic groups have been enslaved. Yes, even white people. The fact that you see that word and you think it's racist to me means that maybe you identify with that word. Slavery still exists today. It just doesn't exist in a legal, open way, at least here in the West. Also, look at what's happening in Ohio right now. It's basically a Chernobyl-like disaster. And this is working class white people, many who are, live in poverty. 
The politicians aren't rushing to save them, even though they're white. For all you who are saying your mom's white, huh? You know, the one thing I don't think she understands is having a white mom doesn't have to be your whole identity. You know, my mom's white, but I don't go around talking about all lives matter. I had a mom that knew how the world perceived me and raised me and put me around the people that I need to be accordingly. Never had the, oh, you're just like everyone else because we she knew that was bullshit. Just admit it. You had a horrible mom who didn't teach you anything about the place that you lived and filled you with false ass American pride. And now you want to sit up here and cater to white folks. That's what that's what people are saying to you. And the one thing that you refuse to take note of. You're black. You think that gives you an excuse to be a bad person? I'm thinking a shit, but can you imagine what it must have been like growing up around her? Exhausting. Especially because she's so like on the lighter spectrum for a mixed kid. Her mom must have been up her ass trying to get her to make sure her hair was straightened and to like black people are bad. Like that's all her page is about is how bad black people are. Like she must hate herself. Also, her dad probably wasn't in her life either because there's no freaking way she hates herself and other black people this much. And her dad was there or he was like the typical, you know, but yeah, like it must be exhausting to live in her mind. Exhausting because all she has is white people on her page, like applauding her and like, yeah, girl. Yeah. Like the black people are the race. Aren't you tired? You gotta be tired. So you guys can see that the prominent thing in a lot of those replies and everything was the fact that she's biracial but with a white mom and you know i used to think like how can people tell when a biracial person has a white mom and a black mom but now i think i know there's just a way that these biracial kids with white moms think and operate and the way they view things happening when it comes to race to the season prejudices their kind of cultural identity like the way they view these things is very different and i think it was evident in the way she spoke the way she thinks and all of that and you know they like to all lives matter everything they like to talk about oh we are all one we're the same people tell that to the palm color people that are discriminating against people that look like us okay tell that to them that we're the same people Tell that to them. They need to hear it because we're just minding our business and they never hesitate to remind us that we are less than them because that's obviously the way they see us. So tell that to them, sis. <laughs> you know, I'm just laughing because, you guys, there's nothing left for me to do. There's nothing more I can say that has not already been said by those people in those comments. I don't know. Well, as for me, I'm just happy that black people have been able to create their own identity there's a whole african-american flag there's a whole black national anthem there's just something that sense of community that identity that culture that african-american people have built for themselves i am so proud and you guys like just keep doing your thing keep being black keep being proud I yeah i love it let me just wrap up this video here let me know what you think in the comment section what do you think about what the palm color lady said do you guys think it's creating a form of segregation when black people have in quotes their national anthem and then there's the whole american national anthem as well do you guys think that it's wrong for black people to have a song that they can celebrate as their own i personally don't think it is but i want to know what you guys think in the comment section um let me know what do you think about everything she said what do you think about the replies just let me know in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on notifications. That way YouTube will let you guys know whenever I have a new video up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!